Hello lovelies and welcome to the next episode of Strawberry Patches Podcast. My name is Marina and uh, this is a predominantly knitting, spinning and yarn dyeing podcast but um, I sometimes talk about New Zealand. This is where I live with my family, my two little daughters and today since I got such nice feedback from last time I decided to take you on a walk with me again to this little reserve. <laughs> there are lots of nice reserves where one can take a walk with a dog or with a family and it's so peaceful and quiet. It makes you feel like you're not in the city. Well, actually, here on the north shore of Auckland where um, most people live in houses, separate houses. It doesn't really feel like a city compared to Istanbul, where I used to live, or Chelyabinsk, where I'm from, that's Russia. So, uh, it's nice and peaceful here. And I thought I will show you all of this beautiful green, shades of green. And maybe if we're lucky, we will hear some New Zealand birds again. And if you may notice, I'm wearing my daughter's like candy cowl because when they're in kindergarten, it's probably gonna be too hot. So I borrowed it <laughs> because I keep knitting them and then one of them lost hers and whatever, and I don't have one. I've knitted four and I don't have one. There was a mom with her baby in a backpack and I had to let them go. But um, yes, let's all need something nice for our necks. And uh, how about I show you a little bit more around me so that you can enjoy this gorgeous New Zealand, what I say, landscape? Nature, nature. And then I will talk to you from when I'm home. I will share you some dyeing, yarn dyeing that I have. I have dyed some fiber as well, which is unusual fiber. And what else? I haven't knitted much, but I will share that with you too. And some spinning. So that's for in the program. I hope you have something to work on, something to drink. And thanks for joining. Let's see what's around me. Весело тебе? Нравится тебе с мамой гулять? А, Лили? Да? Ням-ням. Устала моя девочка. Today I want to show you a little bit of our playground here in Takapuna, Auckland. Today the weather is so beautiful and we decided to take a little walk. We had some lovely fish and chips. Enjoyed the sand and now after this little swing we'll go back home and have a nice long nap. Right Lily? Hi! That's New Zealand baby. Hi friends! 
My name is Marina and welcome to the 83rd episode of Strawberry Patches podcast. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Auckland, New Zealand, and I'm very happy that you decided to join me today. This will be a very short episode because in about 20 minutes I need to run and get my daughter from the kindergarten. It's been a crazy day. I'm trying to manage many things. I wanted to record earlier, but that didn't work. So, shall we start? Thank you to everyone who is leaving comments and hitting the like button. I really, really appreciate it and cannot thank you enough for that. Uh, that keeps this whole thing going for me. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode as well. Let's start. Today I have some spinning for you guys and some new acquisitions, very few, and uh, a little bit of uh, knitting. I just wanted to share with you a bit more often than once a month because I miss you guys and I have enjoyed so much other, uh, I feel like my friends' podcasts that keep me company when I cannot record in the evening when I'm tired. I just love to turn on and get my knitting and yeah, I feel like I'm among the knitting friends. I hope you will have a similar feeling and I also hope that maybe something that I show you will inspire you. And uh, of course, I will talk about our cowl along. And I am making a cowl, but first things first, the projects that are finished. I have finally finished my June socks. <laughs> yes, I started them in June. They were meant to be finished in June, but well, happened in September. These are them. I am using Hochilo Cotelli's caramel sauce socks recipe. Uh, except for the cables, I'm not using the cable motif. I just like the way she explains the heel and the um, toe, so I'm using that as my vanilla go-to recipe. And these socks are in not my, it's not my yarn, I talked about this yarn before. They're done. The next finished object is already on the way to USA. It was a present for my lovely niece. Olivia, who is going to be one in just a couple of days. I hope it, the present gets to them before that. So I needed her a lovely little hat with a pom-pom and some mittens. And I have um, a little video to show you and uh, my daughter trying on the hat. I made the hat a little bit bigger so that it can fit throughout the winter and maybe next year as well. It's a very stretchy and it's elastic. So I hope um, my sister and my niece really like that. So that's all. That's my finished objects for now. And I have been working on mainly two other things this time. As you know, I've been knitting on a um, cardigan. I don't remember how much I had done last time, but this time I have the whole body and even the button bands done because I wanted to try it on and see how well let's try it on then and uh, yeah before I do this is my I think it's called light cloud cardigan by Heidi Kermeyer it's uh, I've had I've had it for ages and it's my hand dye yarn as well I will leave the link to the pattern in the description, as I always do, everything I talk about, I try to link it in the description box so that you can find it on Ravelry or if I'm mentioning some podcasts, you can just click on them and find them there. So here it is. It's a double time cardigan by Libby Johnson, always a truly myrtle. And I love her patterns. I've, I have done one more cardigan before. And uh, yeah, this is my second cardigan by this designer. She's our New Zealand designer. Oh, and um, I am almost done with my first sleeve. And I'm using um, Skein's Merino Flight for, the, um, for this blue and the pulse. Here they are. I'm using this for the stripes. 
and this is all 100% merino, 8 ply or DK weight yarn and I love it. I think it's very nice. The colors that suit me, I know that and um, I can't wait to finish these cardigan and wear it because I feel like cardigans are something that I haven't done much and I would love to have more of them in my wardrobe. There will be some really nice power buttons that I have right here. And of course, you will see them when they're on the cardigan. But I just thought that these shells really, really go well with the, the cardigan. We shall see when they put them on. So this is my whip number one. And as I told you, I've been knitting on a cowl, which is my DRK everyday cowl. And I'm knitting it with my hand spun. This is not the yarn that I dyed, but I bought it at Woolfest and then I spun the fiber. Yeah, I, sp I bought the fiber and I spun it. And it's in this beautiful orangey peachy color. And this is how far I've come. As far as I understand, this cowl goes like this. So this part will be seamed with this piece and it will be something like this. It's very, very bouncy and squishy yarn and I just enjoy every stitch of it. And this pattern is so easy, like quite intuitive. And I don't have to look at the pattern anymore. I just need to continue knitting until I have my amount of stitches and then I can close this part and then seam it which is going to be so easy because it's just one straight line and then i don't think i can wear it because this color is probably not my color but i just enjoy it and speaking of cowls our cowl along started that started in on august the first is continuing until halloween the 31st of october so there is still plenty of time one and a half months to join we have amazing prizes i will be sending some yarn to one of you and we also have three lovely patterns from stephanie lotvin who is the designer behind the like candy cowl that i showed you in the previous videos and i will pop a picture in here as well stephanie has um yeah it's not advertising but i thought i would um kind of point you in the direction of the amazing cows that she has. I'm really, really looking forward to knitting like three of them in, are in my queue with nice color work. And I just love how did she designed her cows that they lie beautifully so that you can see all the color, for, color work here on the front of your body. And it's nice and snug at the back. And because it's four ply, it's very drapey and squishy and not too hot and I like that so Stephanie is also I'm a subscriber to her newsletter so Stephanie is having her own cowl along which is the haunted house mistering it along and I'm going to take part in it it starts on the 1st of October and I think it's two weeks every day there is a new clue and there'll be some color work. There's lots of colors that I still have to pick from what I have. But I'm very excited because, um, yeah, knit alongs. I love knit alongs. But this time I usually do the Rocky Locatelli knit along and the Stephen West. But I decided to wait and take it easy this time and maybe not commit to a whole Stephen West shawl. Yeah, I know. Might change my mind when I see the first clue, but so far that's it. Stephanie is just so brilliant with all of these little motifs and they're so engaging. So I decided to give this little mystery in it alone a go because mystery is always fun. You get to see what the others are knitting at the same time with you and you're wondering about what's coming next and it keeps you motivated to knit on it. So yay. And it's a cowl and we are having a cowl along. Also, I have seen some of your wonderful works in Ravelry and on Instagram and I will include a little video here 
so that you can see all the beautiful works that um, you, my lovely viewers, have done and uh, posted. And I just, I think they're beautiful. Every cow is going to keep someone's neck very warm and cozy and toasty. Yeah. And speaking of other works in progress, I have one more sock on the go that has also been my, I don't know, July socks or May socks or something, which, as you can imagine, <laughs> didn't happen then. It's happening now. It's my mindless knitting now. It's just some yarn that I am keeping um, knitting double with this fluff that I have on a cone. I love combining this with I love combining this fluffy gray thing with many others. By the way, the hat that I made for my niece is with my silver colorway in DK Merino and this one thread of that, which makes it so um, much fluffier and thicker and quicker to knit. So yes, I'm knitting on some socks for me, which seeing that it's four ply and this little kind of mohair y two ply is sort of like sport weight socks now and I made them extra long because I wanted them to be really warm this time I might gift them to someone because my mom is coming soon and she always loves a pair of hand knitted socks I already have like a little box of things that I've knitted her and when she comes I'm gonna gift them to her so this might go into that box righto so as I don't have much time, let me jump right into the spinning. And uh, I have been busy this time. I have finished, I uh, maybe even started and finished. I don't remember if I showed it you last time. This is some Romney that I got from Wolfest this year. And this is the colored Romney Hoggett. And it was so, so nice to spin. The yarn, uh, the fiber was very, it was kind of sticky with lanolin and it drafted really well and I could make really thin yarn, but then I thought that a little bit plumper would be nice and it really plumped up after I washed it. So I have, I haven't really, have I weighed them? Yes, I have weighed them, but I haven't like calculated how much I have all together. It was a bit, it was 400 gram when I bought, so... Something like that. It's really nice and bouncy and I'm actually quite happy with how I spun it. It's very airy and it would be perfect for color work because the yarn is very grippy. And as from what I've learned from all the spinning books, the Romney yarn, Romney fiber, Romney wool is considered a medium um, yarn and well, a medium wool, which means that it's not super fine mi micron, but since it's a hogget, which is like really young baby lamb, I mean baby sheep, <laughs> then it's really nice and squishy and actually really soft. I mean, maybe I wouldn't wear it around my neck, but for something like a vest or a sweater, I think it would be perfect. Another thing that I've spun was this other purchase that I did at Wolfest. This is a very interesting fiber. It is mm -hmm, possum, polworth, merino, and alpaca. And I think there is some stellina in it and maybe even some uh, silk because this looks like recycled silk. And I have spun this mix. It was from the Spindler's Treasure. And it has possum fur in it. So it was, at, in t at times, it was quite uh, tricky to spin because they were not blended very well. And like you can still see, like lumps of fur. And to be honest, I... I don't know how I feel about these like bits. They so remind me of my cat when I was a little girl. 
we had a cat, Matilda, and she had she was this really cool tabby cat. Oh my God, she was with us since I was seven. So for 16 years, she was with us and she, we did everything with her. We would dress her like Babushka, you know, in these little um, kerchiefs and we would um, grab her and carry her and like, Oh, she, she, she was so cool. She really was such a lovely cat. So sometimes she would shed and we would comb her with a really fine comb. And I remember those clumps of gray fur coming off. And this is exactly what um, possum fur felt to me when I was spinning this. And I don't know how I feel about uh, this kind of fiber in a yarn. We shall see. Maybe I will sell this. Maybe I will make a sample and then see what I'm going to do with it. But it's really soft, as you can imagine. It's probably going to be super warm. And just, just so that you can see all the beautiful colors in it. It's 60 grams, so it's not even enough for... Maybe just enough for a pair of mitts. I'm not sure what to do with it. Next, next spin is this fun baby. This one is 100% Corydale, dyed by Anna Gratton or the Little Wool Company. And I plied it with her lace weight black Corydale. And I did this thick and thin yarn and it's very textured. It's very different from all the other things that I have done. And I think I may not have added enough twist to the singles but I'm just enjoying playing with it and I think it will be nice as a yarn for a cow maybe. Actually one of my friends asked me if I could sell this skein to her so she wants to do some kind of weaving maybe or some sort of art form. I'm really looking at if she doesn't change her mind and she does her project I would love to share it with you. Yeah, this is another one. And I'm coming towards the end. I have dyed up some fiber that I showed you. Did I show it to you last time? Anyways, here's the picture. I have purchased some very interesting fiber, which is a mix of black, gray, white, merino, and tensile. And I was really curious about to see how it's going to dye and spin. And so curious I was that I dyed it and I immediately spun it. So... Here's a little video of how it looks before I spun it. The fiber. And here is the result of how it has spun up. I have to say that I also spun it because I was so keen on getting all the dye into the skin that I moved it too much and it felt it a little bit. So I wanted to spin it and see how badly that affects the drafting. And I have to say that I'm glad I didn't sell it because I wouldn't feel comfortable because the product wasn't like top quality. But for me, it was fine. It was tricky at times. I had to like... Uh, pre-drafted but it doesn't matter I'm very happy with the result it's my usual favorite colors you know the turquoises the blues and the purples there's a little bit of fuchsia blended in but you can't see it except for maybe like here <laughs> but here is the skein and it's super super soft the tensile gives us this lovely silk like shine and the shades of gray, black, and white merino makes these color variations even more pronounced. I'm happy with it. I'm really happy with it. It's just another purple blue skein in my stash. <laughs> I have so many of those. So yeah, who knows? Maybe this will be another Andre Maori cow. Maybe it will be the shift or shift which one was the cowl but yes this is another one that I'm planning to make and 
as you can see i love these colors and they will look really nice oh yes now i'm gonna show you my um continue with dyeing i want to show you some of the skins that i've dyed i haven't dyed much because oh life you know <laughs> taking care of little ones and uh i was sick i had a bad um cold and whatever we're all fine everyone's happy and they're in kindergarten i'm just looking at the time because i have to run soon and pick up my daughter she's growing up so fast here's the video of the hand dyed yarn that i wanted to show you and hope you enjoy it as you can see i didn't dye much but uh, i will do I will do sometime soon next week as well. Now I wanted to share you some acquisitions, pot re podcast recommendations and an exciting prize that I won. So for the acquisitions, I want to show you these two bags that I have bought from Wanda Van Eyck. Here is her card, or kind of card and the information and i was lucky to win this at an auction on trade me i really loved this bag i don't need any more bags but i just couldn't you know miss out on them and i love the inside of them as well this is not my first bags from this maker i love her bags totally recommended good quality and this one where i keep my carding in is also from her absolutely love it good padding and i'm probably gonna use it for some sock projects yay so yes these are all my acquisitions and now i have been so lucky this year i've counted i since i arrived to new zealand i've won two or three times each year in, in italongs or giveaways or something and this time I was lucky to be gifted, um, I think, five skeins from a lovely podcaster, Hannah, whose uh, handle on YouTube is Hannah Banana Knits and on Instagram as well. She's this really lovely young lady who lives also in Auckland. And she, she's, wow, she's committed to making her own um, handmade wardrobe. So she sews and she knits and um, she's a lovely person that I'm really looking forward to meeting. We arranged a meeting for next Monday. Hopefully that's gonna work. And uh, yay, I'm looking forward to getting my prize. She was very, very generous with gifting full skeins in my favorite blue colors. And some of it is mohair, which is great, which will be lovely for hats and stuff, or maybe cardigans. Well can't wait to show you that this will be my other acquisition is it acquisition if i didn't pay for it hmm i don't know <laughs> let me know so this kind of um logically goes into my podcast recommendations um if you are interested in other kiwi knitters on youtube i recommend you checking out hannah and yeah I have been watching all my other friends as well. Helen from Mousy Makes. I've been watching Doug from the Zewals podcast. I've been watching Andrea Maori from her I Need If I Want To. I've been watching uh, Inga from The Knitting Traditions. I've been watching Ira from The Cookie Knits. And oh my god, many more. Also Penelope from the Penelope's Chinwag. And. Yeah, so all of these I will link in the description box. If you're looking for someone new to watch, these ones are my favorite and they're really, really... Oh, and and Daniela, I just recently discovered Daniela, who is an Italian knitter, who's recently moved to Australia. And it's nice because we've been uh, in contact before, but now that she's in Australia and she's also a bag maker, we decided to do a little swap. She's asked me to send her some yarn that I dyed and asked her if um, 
I loved her bag. So I said, well, would you be interested in a swap? And she did say yes. And she's going to send me some really cute bags uh, from Australia. And uh, she has a very engaging uh, YouTube channel as well. She's a very bright and colorful person and she's really fun to watch. She has an Etsy shop with all her wonderful, colorful, happy bags that are really, really awesome. Can't wait to show you them as well. So yeah, you can go and give some Daniela some love as well. And um, what else I wanted to say is that a um, little bit of a life update. I am these days looking forward to my mom coming, which will be in the beginning of November. I am preparing um, little gifts and just planning things. And then my daughter is going to be five. Lydia is going to be five in November. Can you believe it? She's not a baby anymore. She's going to school. So in New Zealand, children go to school when they turn five. And even though it's the end of academic year, she will go to year zero. And we're looking forward to that. I'm very excited. We're planning her big birthday party, of course, and the graduation at her kindergarten. She's already asked for the frozen themed cake. And um, yeah, I'm looking into the you know, the invitations for all of her friends and the party decorations and a present. She's asked me to knit her Horatio the Donkey from the Motion Friends book that I kept showing you, but I'm not showing you this time. Maybe next time when I started the donkey. So I need to get um, knitting on that one because, of course, she wants the donkey to be dressed in the dungarees. And I know that Helen, who has knitted the donkey, she said that the dungarees were quite fiddly because of all the pockets. There were five pockets that needed to be sewn on afterwards and they were like a bit fiddly to make. So yeah, I'm going to make the donkey for her. And very shortly afterwards, it's my youngest daughter's second birthday and my mom's birthday, since my mom's here. We also are going to celebrate it all together. So all of this in my head, it's like all these happy preparations for future celebrations. And uh, yes, here's my question for you guys today. Uh, what makes you excited these days? What are you looking forward to in the coming months or month? Are you getting excited and ready for Christmas? Are you doing some Christmas knitting or are there any significant people in your life that you're that have birthdays soon that you're going to be knitting for? And if it is knitting related, do share with me what patterns you are thinking of. I'm always on the lookout for new patterns to be inspired and to learn about other designers. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. Um, really, really thank you so much for joining me and commenting and uh, sharing with me all the things that you're making. Also, thank you for posting your cows in our Ravelry group. Link down below. And yeah, I hope to see you very soon. Ciao. Keep knitting, take care of yourself and be happy. Bye.